Sweating while bike commuting, it's a badge of honor for some and it's a source of embarrassment for others. And there are actually some people who would love to give bike commuting a shot, but they're worried that they will sweat too much. So it keeps them back. I don't mind a good sweaty workout, but not when I'm commuting. When I commute, I want to get to the office and be able to get changed as fast as possible and start working. So in this video, we're going to see what are the best things that you can do. My top tips to keep as sweat free as possible. The first thing that I found helpful on a hot summer day was to take a cool shower in the morning before leaving for work. That's going to bring my core temperature down and it's going to help me keep cooler for a little bit longer. So you start sweating just a little bit later. Another thing that I found helpful was to leave a little bit earlier for two reasons. Number one, you can, uh, you can pace yourself a little bit better. You can go a bit slower and we're going to talk about that in a bit. But more importantly, if you leave half an hour earlier, that could make a big difference. The temperature can change so much. It can go up so much in half an hour that it does make a huge difference whether you cycle in, a, in 25 degrees or 35 degrees. Next, carry your things in a pannier instead of a backpack. A backpack is great for spring or fall, but on a hot summer day, it just makes your back extra sweaty. So panniers are great because they allow ventilation to your back. Now, we all know that hydration is very important, but how you hydrate yourself is also very important. It makes a big difference. If you don't drink before you leave and then you arrive at your workplace and you chuck down a big glass or a big bottle of ice cold water, you're going to start sweating immediately. However, if you drink a little bit of water before leaving and you hydrate yourself throughout the ride just with small sips of water and you drink just a little bit when you arrive at your workplace, you're not going to be nearly as sweaty as you would be in the first case. Did you know that liking this video can also reduce sweat? Just saying. Now we need to talk about pacing yourself and how to pace yourself properly. Well, first of all, uh, for each of us, there is a gear ratio and the cadence that gives us optimum speed. So there is a gear ratio where you, uh, your cadence is still low enough, so you don't st sweat too much, but it, in return, it gives you a high enough speed so you get the cooling effect of the wind. Now, another thing where I still have to discipline myself is to not fall into the racing trap. Uh, sometimes you go at a comfortable pace, you're getting enough wind chill and you see this guy just flying by you and you say, I could go at least as fast as this dude or I could go even faster and you start racing the guy. So don't fall into that trap. That is a trap. That guy is probably uh, training or he has a shorter commute you don't know why he's going so fast you just pace yourself and don't fall into the racing trap also a great deal of how much you sweat when you get there depends on the very last mile if you push the last mile you're going to sweat if you take the last mile very easy you're going to be much less likely to sweat so Pay attention to the last mile and just go at a very comfortable and very easy pace. Now it goes without saying that how you dress also affects how much you're going to sweat a great deal. Dress warm and you're going to sweat immediately. Dress light and you're going to delay sweating and you're going to reduce the amount of sweat. Find a good wicking layer that is going to wick away the moisture from your body and that is going to help you keep cool for longer. If you use cotton, it's much more likely to make you sweat because it traps the moisture, it doesn't wick it away, and you're going to end up with big stains of sweat on your body. Now, what is your favorite method for keeping cool and sweat free in your rides? Let me know in the comments below. And until the next time, this has been Sam from Bike Commuter Hero. Take care, bye-bye.